All right, well, we are here today at Street of Shops in Lewisburg. Not Lewisbury, I don't know if I was saying, wait. No, we're, we're definitely in Lewisburg. I don't know what I said yesterday. I'm so confused. We have a Lewisbury right near us, and so I'm getting like, I'm getting mixed up. But we're in Lewisburg today. We are at Street of Shops. The train followed us here, um, obviously. But we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So uh, we did a live stream last night and a lot of viewers were telling us you have to go check out Street of Shops. You have to go to the basement. We're going to go to the basement today. We're going to check out the basement. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm excited. So let's head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so we are going to start in figurine land, I think. A glove box. Is that $2? $2. Oh, there's a giant, huge, massive. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a shame. It was hiding on the edge, you couldn't see. That's a shame. That's it a is cool really piece. nice. Yeah, a cool piece. Oh, look, it's a giant piece of driftwood. This is what I'm, we have to get into this market. We have to go down to the, the Delaware River, and we get just have to get drunk. Yeah, they sell for stupid money. I'm serious. This is a whole new market for us to get into, and you think I'm joking. Uh, we have plenty of river banks to go pull drift, driftwood off of. I don't think that one's for sale, though. I think that one's Nifus. It's pretty cool. But I'm, when we were at the flea market in Ohio, people were selling these for like hundreds of dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it made me think, I know where I can get some driftwood. Exactly. So you can price it anywhere you want. It's a cute bird. Oh, yeah. yeah it it's actually good. has its stopper. Yeah. Be careful. Ours, ours had the stopper, too. Someone in our group found one of these and tipped it over and the stopper Stoppers fell out. out. <laughs> now, that's from the USSR. Uh, we did learn that from our viewers because we were like, oh, this is cool. It's Lester. And we, we thought maybe Japan, but does it have a price on it? Mm, I didn't see one. Oh, there it is. $40. Forty bucks for yeah, that's about right on, right on point now. I see this over here. So this ribbon vase up here, this glass up here. Oh, that that uh, handkerchief piece. Yeah. Ooh, look at this giant carnival piece. Yeah. I kind of like that. It's kind of like a geode shape. That's cool. It's kind of like fire looking. I like the colors. You know, they kind of remind me of flames. Mm -hmm. It is fifteen dollars though. I don't know if it's special enough for 15. Maybe it is. Ooh, that's 75. <laughs> I can see the price from here. <laughs> Ooh, look at this pretty bowl, Andrew. That's 20. I like the shape of it, but are there any signatures? Signed. Yeah, it's signed. Yes. What is it signed? Bristol glass. Nuh-uh. Yeah, Bristol glass. I mean, it's not the Bristol glass because Bristol is a place. I like that feathered look. It's kind of good for fall. Yeah, the colors are. And it's got that feathered look. I like that it's signed. Are we willing to pay oh, 20? It's up to you. That's your call. You know what you can do with that stuff more than I do. I think that we could get at least 40 for it. So I say yes. If we can double our money, I'm happy. Um, this is Cambridge, I believe. We've got 35 on that. Look at this. This is stunning. That is so beautiful. It's 275 bucks. I know, but goodness gracious, is that beautiful. Yeah, it is. Look at the detail in that. They're even letting put little glass beads I in, know. too. I know. That's tough. I don't know how old it is, but I absolutely love that. Oh my goodness. Then we've got Jeffrey's flamingo there. <laughs> and I just happened to spot this little guy sitting in the chair. 
I mean, he's pretty cute. $4.50 for the puppy. And I'm, I'm digging that side eye. <laughs> oh boy. I, I, I think that's pretty cute. And for four fifty, I can double my money on that, so. He's given the side eye. Mm. He's four fifty. I think he needs to go ride in the basket with the glass. You be good. I'm not really sure how I feel about the subject matter. Germania Brewing Company. But the frame. It's an advertising piece. It is, and they want seven hundred and ninety-five dollars for it. So it's a little outside our price range. It's pretty cool. But the frame is amazing. That's stunning. Yeah. I like that they use the frame for advertising. Yeah. It's great. I just bought a set of these in today's video. $10. These are way bigger than the ones that I just bought today, though. Unfortunately, they're a little rough. Oh, they had the uh, noise yeah, makers in them. Yeah, the ones that I got today had the noise makers in them. They're pretty cool, though, aren't they? That doesn't want to screw in anymore, though. I think yeah. that's broken. I like them, but I think they're just in... Too rough shape. Yeah, too rough shape. Eight dollars for the warm pocket. That's probably twelve to fifteen dollars for resale. So it's priced good for here, but I couldn't buy it for resale. The biscuit jar here. I do like the biscuit jar. Do you see the elephants? Let's look at them. Is just glued together stones. It's really the only one that attracted me. I mean, that beaded one back there is kind of nice, but. What about this guy? Wait a second. He's clay. He's $2. He's kind of great. For $2. That's good. Cool. Yeah, for two bucks. Nice clay. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Linux. Yeah. It's massive. It's so pretty and sparkly. What is going on here? I've got $20 on here. Chinese acrobats. I don't think that that's a very old piece. So for $20, I'm going to pass on that. What did you find? Eight bucks. Looks like bohemian glass. Like it's worth color. it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just found this. Uh, oh. It's got a little flea bite on the base. Ooh. This is 20. It's beautiful though, it's a black shell. And it's $20, so I think I'm gonna grab this. So as I was walking by this little bird, he caught my eye. And if you turn him ever so slightly to the back, you will see that he's got a little leak mark there. Um, <laughs> he has no brace dad. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Everything else here is $5, $5, $2, one Um, So I'm going to take this up and maybe ask how much they want for this little guy. Because he is marked with a leak. So, kind of reminded me of a bird that we had sold recently. He's a cute little chubby thing. Little fat bird. <laughs> I kind of like him. It's $28, but 
50% off. Oops, 23. It's got that boo-boo that somebody tried to touch up. Does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not that bad, though. Considering. And you do 50% off. What's 50% off of 23? 20, 23 or 28? It's 23. So it'd be uh, 10, 11, 50. 11, 50. I mean, for that size... Is that going to ruin it, that little boo-boo? You know, I think for something of that size that detracts from it, I kind of feel like I like the colors of that one, the gray and the blue together. I don't know. Once you put some flowers in it, nobody will notice. That's a good price. Yeah, that is a good price. Oh, wait, price. there's another one up oh, here. Oh, yeah. Never mind, there's one on the rim. That's a shame. That is a shame. If it wasn't, there wasn't two, I would probably consider it. Yeah, one I would do, but two. Somebody took the time to put little felt pads on it. I don't know, I just like, I like the shape of it. I like the lines of it. I like, I don't know, I like it. Then he goes in the cart for $5. It's only yeah. five bucks. I don't know how it's a giraffe, though, because it doesn't have the two little things that come out of their head. Maybe it's a deer with an extra long neck. That's possible. <laughs> It doesn't have a fluffy tail, it's got a long tail. Oh. Maybe it's a hybrid. I don't know, it's a designer deer? Yes. <laughs> I think he's kind of cool. I like him. I would lay him over so he doesn't fall. <coughs> How much is he? He is 18. Ghost. Yeah, that goes with the pumpkin. I think I feel like we're past Halloween now, though. If yeah. you try to ship something, he's great though. Usually people don't do that much detail. Usually it's just orange and white, and they're hobbyist pieces. So, oh my gosh, look at this poor little, look at this poor little zebra. Look at this. Check this out. All those lobster plates we get. Oh, yeah. It's a lobster salad bowl with cabbage, and then you got the claws and the... Yeah. That's kind of cool. 20 bucks. Is it marked on the bottom? Find out. Let me hold these. Will you do that? Carlton ware made in England. Interesting. Hmm. It's probably more modern, but... I don't know. It's, interesting. it's neat. You could put your lobster salad in there. We get all kinds of those lobster dishes all the time. Yes, no, are you leaving it because it's modern? It's a pie bird. It's kind of cool. <laughs> he vents the pies. Mm -hmm. And of course there's damage. There's always damage in the little petals. That's a shame. I know, I, it's always such a bummer, but they're so fragile. How pretty this is. This is like two dollars and fifty cents. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, look at the little uh, look at the biscuit jars. Wooden doll. Six bucks. Uh, I, the bird on. I think we just hit the jackpot. Seven fifty. Ah, ah, we need a cart. <laughs> it's got a bird on it. Actually, looking at this guy, Takayashi, Takahashi, Taka, Taka. I've seen this before. Taka can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. It's only a dollar fifty. It's actually a pretty good brand as far as modern Japanese stuff goes. It goes in the cart for a dollar fifty. Biscuit jars. Yes. Absolutely. And I was actually looking at this little. This little fella. Oh, hey! Oh, that's a perfume bottle. They want eleven fifty for that, right? No, that's one fifty. Oh my gosh! When we were in Ohio, one of the vendors had these, and Misty was looking at them, and the guy wanted like thirty bucks. Really? Yes, and it wasn't even—it didn't even have clothes on it. Um, perfume marionette. Yeah, isn't it cute? Oh. And then I noticed these guys back here for three dollars. What 
Those are cute. Yeah, a little bottle opener and a wine opener. The shakers on top. Yeah. For three dollars. <laughs> I have to like get down low to see what's on the bottom shelves. <laughs> I see some glass back there. I'm gonna reach for it. There we go. Wow, those are dirty. <laughs> Couldn't even tell that was blue until I turned it over. My hands are yucky. What do we have back here? Oh, this booth is exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. This cool piece of restaurant Ooh, look at this. Man on it. Oh, I like that. Trevor Laughlin. A child's dish. Yeah, for four bucks. Found this. What is the price on that? This is usually what I do when I'm on him. Four fifty. Yeah, I love the design on that. I like the handle. Yeah. Just doing one final sweep to see if there's anything else. I do like those guys up there, but um, I'm gonna pass on those. This little piece back. Here I like. That is Japan, but look how pretty that is. I do like that. What's the price on this one? Three dollars. Look at that. It's like Majolica. That's cute. Oh, there's another biscuit jar back there, baby. Don't shoot. Ooh, careful of that thing. It's missing its handle. Yeah. What is that? Three on? bucks. $3. You know, the handles could be replaced. They sell them on it's eBay. Got one old doink yeah. here. I don't see anything else. I do like the blue flowers. What's wrong with it? Uh, it looks like the lid has. I don't know, maybe not. All right. For three bucks? Yeah, for $3. Mm. All right. Is it going to fit in our basket? Yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it, we'll make it work. There we go. Look at that. That is a full basket. I Just like it. Down here. Oh, that's really pretty. It's going to get more pretty when we take this stuff out of it, I have a feeling. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Noritake? This says made in Japan. Made in Japan. Oh, I like that. We've got a um, an old McCoy mixing bowl. Right? Maybe. I'm going to go grab a cart. Okay. <laughs> McCoy mixing bowl. That's a big one, too. That one's marked 42, though. I don't think I need that for 42. I have so many mixing bowls. And I don't even cook. I just like mixing bowls. All right, well, I think I am going to split this video into two parts. So I'm going to end part one here. We found a lot of really great stuff, but um, I have a feeling we're going to be in here for a while. So going to end the video here and you could stick around and stay tuned for tomorrow when I post part two. Um, but I'll see all of you then later.